And welcome back. Nita Cooper's here from the Boone County Extension Service, and thank you so much for being here. You're not going to no, no, I mean, no. like harass her? No. Okay. No, she's all ready to give an explanation. <laughs> you can't. Uh, you, 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 I, mean, I, can, yeah, go I ahead. can't explain why. Actually, it's just, just a, it's a selfish thing. Um, I didn't get home till midnight last well, being night. Being tardy usually is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I slept, I, I was sleeping a little bit this morning. But, but the reason I didn't get home till midnight is because I was at the Arkansas 4-H Center, which is in Ferndale, west of Little Rock. <clears throat> Excuse me. One of our Boone County 4-Hers, Mark Sloan, was named the Arkansas Hall of Fame, 4-H Hall of Fame inductee last night. And there are two top awards in Arkansas 4-H. One is the Governor's Award, for which he is the finalist, by the way. Oh, good. And the other is a Hall of Fame. No, Good. can I Excuse ask, me. I mean, can I go ahead and ask, what, yeah. qual what did he have to do to get? It is um, on their leadership, their project work, uh, their community service, um, the example that they set for younger 4-H'ers and then how they give back to the 4-H program across the state. And, and Mark has served as a state 4-H officer. He's also, uh, as, as far as we know, the youngest, nas nationally the youngest ATV safety instructor. So, uh, outstanding young man, and you know, I, I, um, I tell, in fact, I said this last night, there were four Arkansas 4 Rachers that were finalists, and you could probably have just put their names in the hat, drawn one out, and you would have had them. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all outstanding, mm -hmm. outstanding youth from across the state. But uh, we were fortunate that Mark was named our Hall of Fame well, congratulations inductee. To Mark so, Stone. that's a good reason to be tardy. Yes, well, that's okay. Is. Okay. All right. I was forgiven. just kidding with you. You actually want to talk to us about uh, an upcoming day? I do. Camp? I do. We have um, a Youth Conservation Day, and it's a four-county area program, uh, Boone County, Baxter County, Marion County, and Searcy County. And we're, we're going to take the kids to the Fred Berry Center in Yeovil, mm -hmm. and that's an awesome facility mm -hmm. if you've not been there. But we're just going to spend the day doing some outdoor activities, and it's for kids ages 5 to 16. The best part is it's free. Mm -hmm. That's good, and they get lunch provided by Arvis, so okay. we are very mm -hmm. grateful to Arvis Bank for doing that. Um, but I've, I've got some information on some of the activities we're going to be doing that day, and I'm sure you are going to want to come when you hear this because uh, you get to make your own wildlife tracks, so you get to do some tracks, deer tracks okay. and bear tracks, and uh -huh. uh, learn about honeybees. There's an activity called Oh Deer. It looks like the habitat needed. Uh, uh, to pro provide for deer, for deer in our area. Okay. And then we get to worms. If you like to play with worms, you need to come yeah, on that's down. One of my favorite. I figure, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, now, what kind of worms? Different kinds? Or? Different kinds. Okay. Miss, Miss, uh, Miss, Bill, Miss Billy, the extension agent in Baxter County, one of the agents in Baxter County, will be conducting that activity. So, And then we're going to learn about snakes, my personal mm -hmm. favorite. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. anyway. Whether it be snakes or <laughs> do you need to go find a snake? Is that I, part of the know, exercise? I, one of our specialists out of Little Rock is going <laughs> to be doing wrangler. that, <laughs> and I'm just going to let her handle that one. I, I wouldn't be the one to help her with the snake. Maybe program. it's something to do with identification and, and yeah, yeah, kind of I'm thing, sure. So. Um, and then also we'll have uh, the Game and Fish Commission staff there at the Fred Berry Center is going to be doing some activities for us as well, and we'll have. Uh, the Arkansas Farm Bureau Agriculture Trailer, so you can learn about Arkansas agriculture. So, a fun day, and uh, just looking forward to it. But we do ask that folks sign up, so we'll know how much food we need to provide. And, and this is just provide. one day. It All is this just is just one day. Into, wow. Tuesday, July the twelfth. We're going to start registration at nine thirty, and I've got some phone numbers of the local extension offices. If if uh, folks want to call their local office and get signed up, and and you do not have to be a 4-H member to participate, it can well, be nice. any any youth that likes uh, wants to learn more about outdoors. And Great likes summer to program be outdoors. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get them out yeah. for a day, and it's free. Well, okay. Are they supposed to meet there, or will they be <laughs> transported there? Or how you know, that's work? why you need to call your local office because okay. some of the offices are trying to coordinate transportation okay. for their kids to get them, like Searcy mm -hmm. County. That's a okay. pretty good drive, mm -hmm. right? Um, and we're going to try to coordinate transportation mm -hmm. for our kids as well. So if you'll call your local extension office, then which you happen to have that number? I do, I do. Uh, in Marion County, you can call Brian, Brian C. It's 449-6349. And, okay. and Brian and Renee are actually coordinating the activity. We're, we're just the, the helpers of the other counties, but uh, we all, we, we work pretty well together, so mm -hmm. it works all right. Of course, our number is 741-6168. 
Baxter County, you can call Billy and it's 425-2335. Or Searcy County, you can call Brad or Pam. You okay? <laughs> Brad or Pam and it's 448-3981. A worm. A worm. Mm. Well, you can come on the 12th and learn about worms. Now, age group, that right? is a jam-packed yeah. Day, it is a jam packed sure. day. We're going to tire the kids out, so mom and dad will be forever grateful. What, what's mm -hmm. age group? Is there a um, certain age? Five to, to sixteen, okay. and that sounds that sounds that is a wide range. But right. we're going to have the kids divided up, and and things will be mm -hmm. age appropriate, and you know, and the older four Hers or older youth, I should say, will kind of let them serve as counselors and help facilitate great. the group that's, through. That's so. nice. Yeah, good that's opportunity. Great. Good. All right, thank you. And that's you. coming up uh, Tuesday? Tuesday, July, July the 12th. 12th, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And sign up as early as you can because we right. want to know how much food to bring. Exactly. So our best can so take out a loan to, a, yes, to, to feed, buy the food. Yes, to feed, a, to feed our, <laughs> our, hungry, our hungry group. So. All, All right. right. Thank Nita, you, thanks Nita. for coming by. Thank you. Thanks Come for you, not giving me demerits well, or anything. No, no demerits it. given You've here. You've got a little certificate out there saying that you were tardy <laughs> today on the show, but, but you, it's frameable, so. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Nita. <laughs> All right, up next, uh, Tiffany Bray and Brandy Mincer is here to talk about their Joplin Relief, Relief T-shirt campaign. We'll find out all about that, so stay with us. Oh, no. oh,